Did you know that one in three Americans have no retirement savings? That means millions of people face the prospect of working well into their golden years just to make ends meet. But a growing movement is challenging this status quo. FIRE, or Financial Independence Retire Early. By saving aggressively and investing wisely, FIRE adherents aim to accumulate enough wealth to quit their day jobs and pursue their passions. But here's the catch. There's not just one way to achieve FIRE. There are multiple types of FIRE, each with its own set of pros and cons. So, in today's video, we'll dive into the world of FIRE and explore the different types of financial independence retire early. But before we do, let me ask you this. What would it mean to you to achieve FIRE? What dreams and goals could you pursue if you were financially free? Stick around to find out. The concept. Let's start by getting a greater understanding of FIRE. It's undeniably a fascinating appeal. Imagine quitting your soul-crushing day job early to live on your terms while you're still young. Spend time with your family, travel the world, and hike the mountains. You simply need to live modestly, far below your means, and save a ton during the early years of your working career. It goes beyond mere movement. If you adopt this way of living, you may be able to retire years or even decades before the typical retirement age of 60 or 70. Fire adherents frequently have aggressive saving goals, lead simple lives, and make as many investments as possible while creating passive income streams. But is this intended for everyone? Well, most people believe that fire is only for those earning a good living typically in the six figures. And that is most likely the case if your retirement aim is to do so in your 30s or 40s. Though not nearly as early as 40, there is plenty that everyone can learn from the movement's guiding principles that can help people save for retirement and even achieve one. And remember that the first half of FIRE stands for financial independence, which, if attained, can enable you to work at something you love rather than something you must do instead of retiring. Now that you know what FIRE is and who it's geared for, let's examine the various FIRE types. Number 1. Traditional FIRE Saving as much money as possible to retire as soon as possible is the primary goal of this type of FIRE. To do this, individuals must save at least 25 times their annual expenses before retiring. This approach often entails cutting costs, making the most of retirement savings, and making aggressive investments. Some perks of traditional FIRE include the ability to retire extremely early and an abundance of leisure you will have to travel, engage in hobbies, and spend time with family. The drawback of traditional FIRE is that it necessitates strict discipline and sacrifice to save sufficient funds to retire early. Number 2. Lean FIRE Consider FIRE, but on a budget. Lean fire refers to the idea of living on less money and being willing to make lifestyle and expenses sacrifices. Typically, people in lean fire aim to spend little more than $40,000 per year on retirement. This can be the form of fire that is most appropriate for you if your present expenses are low and you don't anticipate a significant increase during retirement. This type of FIRE movement also appeals to people who choose to live extremely simply while on their FIRE journey and after retirement. This strategy emphasizes thriftness and a low cost of living. Lean FIRE is also excellent for those who don't want babies. For most individuals, lean FIRE is the fastest path to early retirement. Retirement from full-time employment and financial independence can be attained in as little as 10 years. Also, once you achieve lean fire, the world is your oyster. Well, you could have a traditional early retirement. But now that the pressure has subsided, you might also choose to keep working though considerably less diligently. It's all up to you. On the other hand, lean fire has drawbacks. Among them is a restrictive life cycle. You must live a lean fire-based lifestyle with a limited budget. Your fire lifestyle is constrained by your need to keep a close eye on your finances and your meager income. This kind of fire also jeopardizes important occasions. Lean fire forces you to make some difficult choices. Everything that you always imagined having will have to be sacrificed. And well, as we all know, it can be challenging to let go of such ingrained ideas. Number three, fat fire. While the fire idea typically encourages frugal living, fat fire encourages affluence. 
The reverse of lean fire is fat fire. In this case, you want to live a life to the fullest and to be free to spend money after fire. Fat fire is fire on steroids. Likely the example most people associate with the subject. It's the version where you not only retire early and become financially independent, but you do so in luxury. With the most conventional approach, you'll accumulate sufficient wealth to support a luxurious way of living, or at the very least, much greater than a lifestyle of the average individual. The objective is to have enough money to retire early and to have the freedom and flexibility you desire. You don't want to limit your freedom and avoid spending money on holidays. In that instance, it's evidence that you require a considerable larger corpus than your entire life. The first step is adhering to the fat fire strategy is to assess regular costs. Create a plan to cut back on spending right away and start investing. Many people adopt a retirement income strategy that includes diversifying their sources of income. The number one benefit will obviously be living without having to work. This is particularly true if you save as much money as possible while living on a smaller budget. You might be able to take up a new hobby or eat out more frequently once you retire. Workers are drawn to the fat fire movement by more excellent benefits. Some people might be looking for a way to fund their desire to travel or contribute to the cost of raising children. Even while the benefit in the future can build up, it might be challenging to save the required amount. In addition to budgeting millions, there's also a matter of time. That fire can take even up to 20 years or more. You might have to change your goals if unanticipated circumstances arise and use your money to pay for urgent needs. Number four, barista fire. This is a fantastic alternative to take into account for individuals who wish to achieve financial independence quickly but don't want to accumulate a sizable nest egg. It's a hybrid version of FIRE. With this FIRE, you continue to save according to the 4% rule as a set amount, yet you don't want to toil away at your job doing what others may consider being some of your greatest years. Instead, Barista FIRE allows you to leave your day job withdraw 4% of your portfolio annually and augment the remaining income with a side business or a less stressful career that you would enjoy. Like say, becoming a barista, hence the name. You could counter that pursuing barista fire doesn't indicate you've retired early because you're still employed in that capacity. But with this kind of fire, you can quit your nine to five job, put in fewer hours of labor and still have time for the activities you enjoy. If you don't enjoy your job, Barista Fire can give you a route out so you can start doing something you care about, even if it pays less. Barista Fire is a great approach to take back control of your time and begin enjoying life on your terms, much like any other fire strategy. Also, having insurance is one of the main advantages of continuing employment. The barista fire lifestyle may not feel like actual retirement for many people. It may not seem all that different from the drudgery of labor you may have had in your previous employment to get up on time, arrive at a set location and time, and work for someone else. Also, when your livelihood depends on your work, a certain amount of stress is attached to it. Number five, coast fire. This one entails quickly growing your portfolio to a certain extent before coasting to your objective. You won't need to save money once you've accomplished your goal. Instead, use compounding and time to expand your portfolio to the required size over time. When you have enough money invested at a young age, enough that you are no longer required to make additional investments to attain financial independence by the usual retirement age of 65 to 69, you will have achieved Coast Fire. This kind of fire is excellent for measuring your progress and for individuals who aren't in a rush to retire early, but want to ensure that they are financially prepared for retirement. More than any other financial route, Coast Fire provides freedom and independence later in life. Suppose it's something you're interested in. In that case, Coast Fire permits you to change occupation and finish your working life in a less stressful setting after working diligently to save for retirement in the early years of your career. Another benefit is that you can continue working in this field as long as you need to pay for costs up until retirement. But like with any investment, Profits are not guaranteed, and certainly not at the rate you may expect. Your assets could not increase to the amount you need within the specific time frame. Even if you chose a diversified, low-risk portfolio of index funds. Moreover, as compared to other fire kinds, Coast Fire pursues financial independence the slowest. 
Coast Fire is a good option for you if you're in your 20s or early 30s. So, what fire category are you pursuing? Well, nobody can advise which fire category is best for you because only you know what kind of life you want to lead in the future. What money means to you and how comfortable you want to be. Now that you're aware of the different types of fire, making a choice isn't overly burdensome. Whether you're an aggressive saver or looking to take a more balanced approach, FIRE could be the key to unlocking your financial freedom and retiring on your terms. We want to know which type of FIRE resonates with you the most. Do you see yourself pursuing FIRE in the future? Comment in the section down below. That's all. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.